Hey, what's going on, people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you are all doing well today. And welcome to today's video, which is something a little bit different. I want to talk about Chelsea's assets that could potentially be going out the door this summer. Now, a lot of reputable and dependable journalists that are very close to Chelsea Football Club have said that the club's intention this summer was to do a mass rebuild. And although... The pandemic has obviously changed some of that a bit. Generally, they still want to get a lot of players out and as many players in as possible. So I wanted to do a video not about Chelsea's transfer targets. We all can look at the media and speculate who's going to come in, but talk about the players that could potentially be going out and talk about how much they could potentially bring in. I'm going to be using the platform transfer marked to look at estimated value and we can talk about how that value might be a little bit different for one reason or another. Now for the sake of this video I've picked some players that are likely to go out the door and bring some money in or more likely than others I think I should probably say. I have not spoken about the likes of Jorginho and N'Golo Kante who are indeed being courted by the big clubs like Juventus, PSG, Real Madrid respectively. Those two players stay in my squad for the sake of this video. But head honcho, chief negotiator, and all round superwoman Marina Granovskaya could sell these players I'm about to talk about and make a fair few quid so Chelsea can fund this rebuild that they so desire. You dig? Right, so before I get into said players and talk about their values and maybe where they could be sold to, quick reminder to you guys there to subscribe if you've not yet done so. I upload content every single day why don't you swing by daily and subscribe and click the like button to help me out that would be kind of you all right let's get into it right the first player on the agenda today is emerson palmieri the italian brazilian left back that was brought into chelsea i think under conte or certainly i think it was yeah, I think, I think, yeah, Conte. Obviously became a permanent fixture under Maurizio Sarri in the second half of his season and the beginning of this season. Looked like he could be the real deal when he came into the team, but really it's faded out. Frank Lampard doesn't seem to fancy him. And to be honest, man, he's like third choice left back at the moment. And, you know, it just... It doesn't really look like it's going to work. Doesn't mean he's a bad player though, and clubs want him. Most notably, ex-Chelsea boss Maurizio Sarri at Juventus. Emerson Palmieri is in his prime and obviously won the Europa League under Maurizio Sarri. So he's going to be worth a few quid. And in fact, on transfer marks, he's rated at £27 million. And I think that's probably realistic. It's not over 30, but it's going to be a difficult financial climate and market. £27 million to a big club like Juventus, who won him. You know, he's not being used at Chelsea. Sort of make a profit on him. You know, all things considered. £27 million is a good price. And I think that's a realistic deal for the exit of Emerson Palmieri from Chelsea. Right, next up might be a slightly controversial one I've gone for Kurt Zuma I do believe one center back might be leaving Chelsea Football Club it's looking more and more likely and if you look at all four you can definitely make a case why each player is good in their own way certainly Christensen's a very highly rated ball playing center back that suits modern football very very well Antonio Rudiger is Chelsea's most senior and arguably best center half I don't necessarily see it that way, but many people do. Derby's player of the season last season, Fikayo Tomori, Chelsea Academy starter. I can't see him going anywhere. He's really highly rated by Frank Lampard and by Jody Morris, which leaves Kurt Zuma, who is obviously, well, he's the most seasoned Premier League centre-half of them all. And I don't have any, like, bad opinions about Kurt Zuma at all. I don't really have any bad opinions of all Chelsea's centre-halves. I think they've all suffered systemically, defensively, and I think probably Chelsea's just missing one superstar in there. I think Kurt Zuma holds good value. Um, I think a lot of clubs would want him. And I think probably he Chelsea he could just maybe be sold. I'm sure Everton would take him back. They bloody loved him. Anyway, I'm sure this one will cause a big debate, but I've chosen Zuma for the sake of this video. And transfer marks reckon Zuma could fetch a very tidy 32 million pounds indeed, which is pretty valuable in this current market. Next up is someone who I wouldn't necessarily want to sell. I think he would be a very good squad player indeed, and that is Ross Barkley. Yes, he's been very inconsistent, and yes, he can have very good games. He's an England international. He's actually had some big, big performances for Chelsea Football Club, but maybe he could be sold in the summer. 
Even if you are pro Barkley in many ways, kind of like myself, you would probably not cry for him if he left Chelsea Football Club, which sounds kind of harsh, but I think the people who do appreciate him appreciate him as a squad player and someone who can come in and do a job, and that kind of player isn't necessarily someone that you'd be so gutted to see them be sold. Do you know what I mean? Chelsea bought Ross Barkley for a mere £15 million, and as soon as he signed that contract, his value doubled essentially when he became a Chelsea player at that age as an Englishman. It's just the way things work. And even if it's not minimum double, which I assumed it would be, Transfer Markt is reckoning about £25 million for Ross Barkley, and that would still be very, very canny business for Chelsea Football Club if they flogged him and made £10 million profit after winning, you know, Europa League and FA Cup and how, whenever he was, yeah, FA Cup as well. So good business really, selling Ross Barkley for 25 million pounds. Next up, Belgian striker Michy Batshuayi. Belgium international, in fact, starts for the greatest international team in the world. Apparently they are. Also scored a lot of goals for Chelsea. Well, not a lot, but his goals to minutes return has always maintained a really good ratio at the club. Scored some big high profile goals. Is very strong, physical, fast, great finisher in his prime. Yeah, no Chelsea coach will ever fancy him, and fair enough, it might be time to sell him as he has value, and he'll only have one year left on his deal. But even though he'll only have one year left, he should still fetch £20 million due to the profile of player he is and his abilities. A lot of clubs will see great value in buying Michy Batshuayi um, for £20 million, even though he's only got a year left on his deal. So, for me, that's easy business. Chelsea are looking to bring in another forward. Giroud probably would stay for the uh, 12 months, maybe. Sell Batshuayi for £20 million. Makes sense, right? And finally, at the end of this list, it's another left back. What? Marcus Alonso, right. So a lot of people think Marcus Alonso should stay, and maybe he should. He offers the left wing back option and is very good at that going forward. I would concede that, but... Chelsea have got Ian Matson, who has just signed a new long-term deal at Chelsea, who would actually back himself to be the rotational left-back at Chelsea Football Club. And, of course, Chelsea are looking to buy a left-back to be the starting left-back. So, that could be two whole new left-backs at Chelsea Football Club. So, it might be a case of selling Emerson and indeed selling Marcus Alonso. Alonso could be sold for £20 million as well, and there are a lot of people courting him of the likes of another ex-Chelsea coach, Antonio Conte at Inter Milan, who would probably love him to be a left wing-back option. Alonso should fetch £20 million quite comfortably at his age, and that could stack up to a wonderful total. I did mention at the top of the video that I'd say the target destinations or possible destinations of these players Obviously, I said Emerson to Juventus, Alonso maybe to Inter. With the others, you know, you could say Zuma to Everton, Michy Batshuayi could go to League 1, uh, most clubs, or he could go to the mid-table Premier League club. And people like Ross Barkley, that'd be interesting. It'd probably end up being something like a West Ham. Do you know what I mean? That's just such a West Ham signing. Anyway, these players I've spoken about and the proposed totals adds up to a very handsome 124 million pounds now 124 million plus certain funds that would have been stacked up from champions league money this eden hazard sale money would come into the kitty as would the morata there's some other you know general revenue streams money that will get into the total but player sales of 124 million pounds would certainly bulk up a transfer kitty quite nicely now it's not just simple to sell all these players for X amount, but the point is they are valuable players. Clubs will be looking to buy these type of players, players that aren't 40, 50, 60 plus million pounds, players that cost around 20 to 30 million that are decent, that have won stuff, which of course the likes of Emerson and Alonso, all these kind of players, they have done. They're used to winning and playing for a big team like Chelsea. Chelsea are trying to do a whole sort of revamp. These players have values. They're not all in their mid 30s with like, you know, a year left on their deal. They're young players in their prime, the likes of Ross Barkley, Zuma, Michy Batshuayi, Emerson Palmieri, do you know what I mean? They will hold value and Chelsea can afford to sell them at a reasonable price and still make profits on all of them in a dire financial time. So Chelsea are in a strong position to do serious transfer business this window when it becomes easier to do so and of course when the transfer window itself actually opens if indeed it does properly so what do you guys think get down in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts and opinions on the players i've spoken about is there anyone i've left out 
Would you keep some players that I've mentioned? Express your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you've enjoyed the content today, guys, I'd urge you all to like the video. That means a lot. Of course, subscribe if you are new. Come follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it for me, you lot. Enjoy the football that sadly is not happening at the moment. And I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.